Welcome to the assembly of Illumina MySeq data using NextGene software StuffWise Pair and Assembler. My name is Fuquin and I will be the presenter for this webinar. NextGene software is a user-friendly software package with no scripting required and contains a project wizard that guides you through project setup. In the next few slides, we'll take a look at the project wizard. The unique stepwise assembly method allows for assembly across repeat and non-overlap regions using the paired end information to generate high quality contexts, alleviating some of the problems associated with short reads assembly. Additionally, the software is a complete package that contains all assembly, alignment, and reporting tools all in one package. Illumina MySeq sequencing system currently produces pair end reads of about 150 base pair. In sequences that repeat, these short reads could assemble in the wrong context, causing loss of coverage in other parts of the genome and contexts that terminate at repeat regions due to ambiguous contexts. NextGene software contains a stepwise assembly method to map across the repeat region. First, NextGene begins assembling the reads by checking for overlaps. Then, when it reaches the end of a contact that has no overlap, it uses the pair end read information to map across the contacts. Only the longest contact is formed and will be kept. The data set that will be used for the demonstration of Illumina MySeq pair end data is the bacteria genome E. coli M655, supplied by Illumina. We will first discuss the de novo assembly of the raw data. The FASTQ output first needs to be converted into FASTA for processing. If there are barcode tags in the data, NextGene barcode sorting tool can sort out each sample by their corresponding tags. Then, we will move on to parent assembly and discuss the results. As a quality metric, the assembled context is aligned to the reference E. coli M655 GBK file. In the application window, I have selected Illumina for MySeq data and the Novo assembly as the application type. I will first run the Denovo assembly of the raw data and then use the assembled context to align it to the E. coli M655 reference from GenBank as a quality control metric to see how well the PE assembly worked. After selecting the appropriate settings, click Next. NextGene uses FASTA files for analysis. If MySeq data has not been converted to FASTA, select Format Conversion to convert FASTQ files to FASTA files. In the File Format Type field, select Illumina and the appropriate file type from the drop-down menu. Next, click on the Add button to import the raw data files. For pair end data, please select pair reads data under settings. Default selection of other settings work well for most data set. After format conversion, if you have barcoded data, NextGene contains an integrated barcode sorting tool that can be used to sort samples by their tags. For MySeq data, please select barcode in separate file, then import the read and index files. Using the sample sheet.csv that is available in the raw data output from MySeq, Construct a barcode file, preferably a tab delimited text file, identifying the barcode associated with each sample ID. Finally, select pair reads and click OK to begin barcode sorting. The sorting takes approximately 35 minutes for a dataset containing 96 samples. For more detailed information, please refer to the following link provided and download or view the demultiplexing Illumina MySeq data app note or contact tech support at softgenetics.com for other inquiries. In the assembly dialog, select PE assembly and pair read data options. The word length should be adjusted based on expected coverage. For 20 to 30x coverage, word length of 23 is optimum. For 50x coverage, a word length of 29 works well. The high coverage limited will ignore any coverage exceeding the threshold set to improve processing speed. The final contact merging Combine contacts that overlap after assembly. Click Finish when you are ready. In the final window of the project wizard, you can choose to set up additional projects for uninterrupted processing. The project will be processed in the order it was created and all results will be outputted in the designated folder. It took less than two hours to assemble 65 contacts from 7,267,665 reads. About 97.7% of the reads were used while the remaining 2.3% were left unassembled. The average length of the contact is 70,747 base pair, while the maximum length reaches 494,530 base pair. The N50 for this assembly 
is 212,730 base pair. After assembly, I took the assembly output file and completed an alignment to the E. coli M655 reference genome. The illustration shows the coverage curve report for the entire bacteria genome that has at least one contact map to it. The pink regions indicate areas with no coverage. The gray regions indicate depth of coverage. About 96.88% of the bacteria genome was covered by at least one contact, leaving only 3.12% of the genome with no coverage. In addition to integrated assembly and alignment analysis, NextGene software has a viewer that shows everything from variant detection and coverage to individual reads with highlighted variants. There are many different types of report that NextGene can output, including the coverage curve report that was previously shown. This report is an example of the distribution report, which shows directional coverage of the pair and reads alignment to the reference. To improve assembly in repeat and non-overlap regions, NextGene stepwise assembly takes three steps to ensure accurate contact assembly. The assembly of the bacteria data for E. coli M655 used 97.7% of the PE data for assembly and formed 65 contacts under two hours. The assembled contacts were then aligned to the reference GBK file as a control metric. Approximately 96.88% of the bacteria genome was covered by the assembled contacts. All assembly, barcode, viewing, and reporting tools are integrated into NextGene for a complete software package that is accurate and saves time on analysis. This concludes SoftGenetics webinar on assembly of Illumina MySeq data using NextGene software stepwise pair end assembler. We would like to thank Illumina for supplying the data using this webinar. If you would like more information or want to try a free 30-day trial of NextGene software, please visit www dot softgenetics.com or send an email to info at softgenetics.com. You may also request for online training if you are interested in learning more about the software and its capabilities. Thank you for joining me in this webinar.